OJ Simpson, who was shockingly acquitted in that trial of the century, has died of cancer at the age of 76. The football star turned Hollywood actor was controversially cleared of killing his ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend in a verdict which divided America. Let's go live to US correspondent Tim Lester. Tim, the trial was watched by 150 million people worldwide. Shervo, sure, the courts here in California around America had not seen anything like it. Eight months of evidence, an extraordinary case that captured the imagination not just of the country, but many around the world. Everyone had to have an opinion on whether O.J. Simpson was a hero hard done by or a killer. And frankly, today, it's still an issue undecided. He was an American hero on so many levels. O.J. Simpson, football legend, inducted into the Hall of Fame after retiring Hollywood called. Nobody does it better than... TV and movies. Norbert! Hiya, buddy. Hey! Doc says I should be on my bean and as good as new in a week. In 1985, he married Nicole Brown. The glamorous couple had two children, divorcing seven years later following allegations of domestic violence. In 1994, Nicole Brown and her friend Ron Goldman were found dead at her Los Angeles home. They may be driving a white or light-coloured Ford Bronco. Simpson was charged with their murders, but failed to turn himself in and was declared a fugitive, leading police on a low-speed two-hour chase across LA before eventually surrendering, watched live by 95 million people. The trial of the century followed, televised and captivating America. Crucial evidence, blood-stained gloves found at the scene. In one of the trial's most memorable moments, prosecutors asked Simpson to wear the gloves. He struggled to put them on. The blunder leading to a now famous closing statement from Simpson's lawyer. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. It took the jury just four hours to reach a verdict. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty. Three years later, O.J. was found liable for Nicole and Ron's deaths in a civil suit brought by the victims' families. A dramatic fall from grace. O.J. was back in court multiple times over the next several years for traffic violations, even pirating cable TV. But it was a Las Vegas robbery in 2008 that ultimately sent him to prison. He served nine years before being released in 2017. In a statement, Simpson's family revealed that he died of cancer, surrounded by his children and grandchildren. O.J. Simpson was 76. Time magazine called that trial the Godzilla of tabloid stories. It really was unique then and even unique today. Looking back on it, O.J. Simpson dead at 76 years old.